But first, a federal lawsuit filed against Waukesha police officers who shot and killed a man outside of Waukesha Memorial Hospital this spring. The suit alleges that the man was suicidal but never posed an imminent threat to the officers. Ben Jordan has that story. Two Waukesha police officers shot and killed Randy Ashland in this hospital parking lot while he was armed with a gun. The attorney representing Ashland's family says Ashland told police he did not want to hurt them and only pointed the gun at himself. Back on the early morning of April 15th, this federal lawsuit claims a pastor drove Randy Ashland to Waukesha Memorial Hospital after Ashland said he was having suicidal thoughts. The complaint says Ashland brought his gun in the car and refused to go into the hospital without it. Quote, the pastor went inside to get help, leaving Ashland in the car. Security locked down the hospital. This screenshot of surveillance video shows several police surrounding Ashland in the parking lot. The complaint says dispatch put out a call for a man with gun to his head at the hospital. Mr. Ashland never pointed his gun at the police. He never shot the gun and he was shot as he was following the officer's instructions to get rid of the gun. Attorney Tom Kaye says two of those officers shot and killed Ashland near the entrance to the emergency department. An outside agency handled the investigation and the Waukesha County District Attorney determined the shooting was justified. Kay says Ashland wasn't putting anyone in imminent danger or resisting arrest. In this situation, uh, a mistake was made. Hayes claims the biggest mistake was that officers neglected to attempt de-escalation techniques meant for suicidal subjects. Kay says the family is seeking money from the city of Waukesha. They're also suing the two officers who were involved. I reached out to the Waukesha Police Department for a comment on this lawsuit, but I haven't heard back. Reporting at Waukesha Memorial Hospital, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.